twilight glow I see you Blue eyes crying in the rain When we kissed goodbye and parted Why am I playing Willie Nelson? Well, I'm going to tell you a story about Willie. You know, that song was one of the ones. Two guys flying in a plane. Ask Mark Prentice about that. We were so tired of playing Willie songs in the clubs. I mean, back in Minnesota for all those years, and then Arizona for all those years. And, and by the time I got connected with Glenn Campbell in the late 80s, 70, 87 it was when I started with him, we had uh, exhausted our, you know, our Willie thing. And we were doing, I mean, I loved his songs. Though. Poncho and Lefty, and uh, uh, that's the way love goes, babe. And uh, mamas don't let your babies go up to be cowboys. I mean, we did all that stuff. And we did Luke and Bach with Willie's verse and that. I mean, we were just so, you know, you kind of get burnt out on Willie Nelson, sort of like it happens with anybody that's super, super popular. And I, I'm not going to name a bunch of other names, but you know who they are. And uh, we got to uh, Los Angeles in 1989. We're getting ready to leave for Australia the next day. And Glenn said, hey, Jeff, Willie Nelson needs a band. Would you mind playing with him tonight? And I said, God, we would love to. So we ended up being Willie's band for this show. It was Gene Autry's birthday bash and Angie Dickinson and Gene Autry, Pat Buttram, Glenn Campbell and the band. And Willie brought his harmonica player, which was I think his name was Mickey... Oh, I've got to look it up. Um, but Mickey was the harp player. I think he's still there. I'm not sure. And he came out on stage, and we had a rehearsal in the afternoon at Soundcheck, and he had that old funky amplifier and that guitar with the extra hole in it, you know, that, that I call the extra willy. And uh, he sat down, and he was so relaxed with us. I mean, he was super cool to be with. But most of the good ones are. And he all of a sudden, he just went... And I was just like, my hair stood up on my back and my shoulders and my arms, if I had any on my shoulders, I don't know. And it was like, all that old tired stuff was gone. This was the guy, that was the guitar, that was the sound through that amplifier. I mean, I, on the road again, and off we went. And we played about, I don't know, six or eight songs in his set. And we did all sorts of, maybe I didn't love all those lonely, lonely times Maybe I didn't ever told you I'm so happy that you're mine We got to play all that stuff. Okay, so we're ready to do it. It's black tie. It's all these people from Hollywood. It's at the Century Plaza Hotel. Big time deal. And the next day, we're leaving for Australia. Well, I had been playing with the Herndon brothers in Scottsdale. I was Jeff Herndon for a month because Ray was out with Lyle Lovett and Dwayne Riston wasn't ready to join the band yet. He was still playing in, uh, what was the name of the band he was in? Um, it, maybe it was First Class, I forget. Knight Rider, maybe? And uh, anyhow, so I was out there five nights a week and Carrie had just been born. She was just a little baby girl. And man, I was up playing in the clubs till two in the morning and then I'd have to get home and Debbie would go, fine, you're staying up with her if she cries, you know? And I go, getting no sleep. Showtime has, was just about to come and I, I decided, man, I'm gonna run upstairs and just close my eyes for 10 minutes in my tuxedo. And I don't know how long later, but Tom calls me and goes, Jeff, get down here, we're ready to go. And I'm like, half of my clothes are off and I'm laying in bed just like ah. So I'm, I'm getting dressed in the elevator of this hotel running downstairs. And I get down there, and thankfully, they had about another half hour to go, so I was able to breathe a little bit and restore myself. And uh, we got out on stage. It was time for, uh, you know, the Willie set, and we had the Glenn set and our own set to do, too. But we, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Willie Nelson! And the place goes, <sighs> just like this roar of people. It was like people up to the ceiling, you know, in this great showroom, the Century Plaza Hotel. And it was People are looking around like, where's Willie? You know, there's, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Willie Nelson! <sighs> you know, crowds roaring and there's no Willie. And it's going on and on like this. And we're going, what the heck? And then all of a sudden the double doors, you know, the security doors to the alley or whatever they are, fire exit, 
they pop open and in comes the entourage from the bus. It's like, you know, the characters in line. It's the road manager in the satin tour jacket. And it's Mickey the Harp, Mickey Raphael, that's his name. And the harp player and another guy and Willie. And it's just sort of like, you remember Pigpen in the Peanuts cartoons? You know, there was just sort of this trail of whatever coming after. Well, anyway, that's what I, <laughs> it was pretty obvious that there was a trail of happiness coming after those boys. And he got on stage and we did the show and he goes, on the road again. And we were off and running, man. It was the coolest night, the coolest night. And we left for the first tour of Australia the next morning. But that wasn't the first time we got called to be somebody's band. And uh, i tell you what, you know, if you ever get a chance to jump in with somebody, do it. Just be courageous and do it. Don't worry about it. Earn while you learn. That's what Mark used to say. I borrowed that one. Anyhow, there's a little button that says subscribe. It's right underneath the video here. And there's a little bell next to it. If you click on subscribe and hit that bell, it'll notify you when new videos come out. I love doing these things. I love telling stories and talking about guitar and for you guitar players, real quick. It's, you know, you can do that. Uh, and then when back in the in the club days with Ron Rutowski on the fiddle, because he was great for a musical, uh, you know, throwing a little musical germ around the band. So we had the road again. Like a band of gypsies, we go down that highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world keep turning our way And our way is on the road again Can't wait to get back on the road again. I mean, if you want to keep it fresh, come up with stuff like that. I still play those licks. And Ron, thank you so much for the years we played together. Folks, y'all take care and thank you for being part of this. And we'll see you next time.